Hello my new members and welcome to my group. I hope you liked that first video. It was about arrows and I hope it wasn't too confusing, but that is my technique. Today I'd like to talk about triangles. There are three kinds of triangles, but I'll be looking at the first two. Triangles with an arrow going up and triangles with an arrow going down. We're looking at Lotto 6, October 29th. I'm working on the numbers and I've already scribbled on this. Going up means numbers have been hit before and numbers going down mean they haven't been hit. So I have to think, why do they switch? Why do they flip? Let's look at this triangle with 0, 5 with an arrow on tier 4x. Let's go back. October 22nd, it's sitting here at 4x, but with one arrow going up. Okay, that, so that means it just hit previously on tier 3x. Let's go back to October 19th. Uh, yes, it did. It hit on tier 3x. And it had a triangle with an arrow going down. After it got hit, the number went up to 4x. So I started counting. One, two, and three. It's sitting over here. And then I go down this list. Where is zero, 05? It's sitting over here uh, at 3g. There are six balls, six balls, six balls. Uh, nah, I don't think I'll choose this number. Okay, there's more to that later on. Let's look at number 27. It has a triangle with an arrow pointing up. So that means in the last three draws, it hit and it came from tier 3x. Let's go back. October 26, October 22nd. There it is. It's sitting at 4x with one arrow going up. Let's go back one drawing, October 19th. And sure enough, it got hit on 3x. Okay, and it had a square. More on that later on in another video. So that's the reason why it went up to 4x. Let's look at 0, 2. It has a triangle with an arrow pointing up. So that means in the last three draws, it hit. So let's go back. One, two, three. And that was on October 19th, sitting at 2x. It did hit. But which direction did it come from? It doesn't have any markings. And it is sitting in this average occurrence, which is good. Okay, so we know that it hit, and it should move up, so it did. And that is the reason why I drew a triangle with an arrow. Because when you look down the list, where is it sitting? It's sitting at the end. And that looks like a good number to choose for the next drawing. That's my experience. Let's look at triangles with arrows pointing down, 30 and 43. So that means in the last three drawings, they didn't hit, but somehow they moved down. Why did they move down? They're getting closer to the average occurrence. That's my thinking. So we're going back three drawings. October 22nd they there they are 30 and 43 sitting at 3x with one arrow each I'll go back to October 19th both numbers are sitting at 4x number 3 has a triangle pointing up so that means it hit Okay, number 43 has a triangle with brackets. That means in the last three draws, it hit, but it didn't move. That means it didn't move up or down tiers. It just sat at the same tier. So that's the reason why I have brackets. And they both shifted to the far right. So that might mean they're hot numbers. They just suddenly 
change direction like that. S and they're sitting next to each other. So I might choose 43 and 30. It doesn't always work this way, but I always mark it up with triangles, arrows, squares, brackets, okay? And that's it for this video on triangles. Hopefully you understood it. If you didn't, ask me questions. Till next time, everyone. Keep believing. Bye.